Hertie Petrochem is a world-leading engineering, procurement and construction company specializing in the design and manufacture of process-fired heaters for the refining, petrochemical and hydrogen industries. The Hertie Group's wide-ranging expertise enables it to manage all projects from feasibility study through to start-up. With 900 employees at 17 locations in 11 countries around the globe, Hertie is uniquely placed to offer a full range of process furnace technologies. Natref is the largest inland crude oil refinery in southern Africa. The furnaces in the refinery's crude distillation unit were becoming unreliable and required higher operator interface and maintenance for stable operation. A study was initiated to find the best solution. Together, Natref and Herty determined the best long-term solution, a complete furnace replacement. Essentially, the heart of the refinery was to be replaced, providing new life for years to come. A complete replacement of the furnaces introduced complexities such as a fast-track schedule, plant congestion and new burner management systems integration. Hertie accepted these challenges and in April 2011 instruction to proceed with engineering was awarded. An engineering, procurement and construction management approach was used. Hertie South Africa managed all facets of design, equipment supply, fabrication, logistics, contract and construction management, shutdown coordination and startup assistance. The existing furnace plot space had to be reused. This restriction focused on the suitability of the existing foundations for a new heater plus the design configuration of the new furnace to suit the available plot space. The furnace foundations were already 40 years old and were identified as a major risk item during the design phase. These foundations were core drilled, tested for structural strength and were found to be in good condition and suitable for the new furnaces. Constructability was driven by the limited plot space available for a suitable crane. A maximum single lift capacity of 400 tonnes initiated a detailed design with an emphasis on weight saving. A green fields area was selected away from the operating plant at Natref. Here, a set of temporary foundations were installed, allowing the heaters to be assembled while the refinery continued operations. On-site route surveys and roadwork preparations were conducted to ensure smooth and safe passage for the construction to begin in the pre-assembly area. Roadworks were also carried out in the plant for the final installation. Hurti Petrochem's philosophy is to make maximum use of shop fabricated modules, with the only restrictions being adequate transport route clearance, as well as fabricators safe lifting capacity. As the modules arrived on site, they were sequenced to suit the construction method. The lower radiant sections were initially placed, followed by the upper radiant sections. The common access stairway was then installed, together with the tower structures containing the control stations. The E&I contractor was at this stage given access to begin cable rack installation on the modules. The convection modules were then lifted into position, followed by support steel and platforms. Finally, all local burner control piping was installed. The five-month construction effort took the project to realization, ready for the refinery shutdown window, which was fast approaching. The plant shutdown started on the 18th of October 2012. The first activity for the shutdown was the preparation for the demolition of the existing furnaces. All interconnections to the existing plant were manually disconnected. Careful identification and safe making of pipelines ensured a safe environment for the heavy machinery to tackle bulk demolition. Ducting was removed to allow crane access to the existing process manifolds and transfer lines. These piping items were reused for the new installation. 
Once isolated, the old furnaces were demolished using mechanical shears. Over a four-day period, the old furnaces were safely and completely removed. The crane was moved into position and prepared for the heavy lifts. Self-propelled multi-axle trailers provided a stable transport platform for the modules. The furnaces and tower structure were separated into three modules at the pre-assembly yard to be transported into the plant individually. The control skid module and access structure was the first to move. Once the control skid module and access structure was rigged, final checks were made and the unit was installed into position. To accommodate the new furnace design, ground beams were installed to spread the furnace loading over the existing foundations. The first new furnace module was then ready to be moved into position. Weather plays a very important role in lifting operations. A slightly stronger than expected wind could set the load into a perilous swing and potentially canter the entire crane. With the help of design software and careful weather monitoring, the team were able to pinpoint the safest moment for the lift. The rigging team fastened the lifting straps to the specially designed harnesses and lifting lugs. As the crane began hoisting the furnace module up, the furnace weight was verified at 395 tonnes within the crane's 400 tonnes lifting capacity. Once clear, the module was swung into position and lowered into place. The furnace module was installed over a two-day period, following a careful task implementation procedure to complete the installation. The second module was a tighter fit altogether. With careful work, installation was successful. Once the furnaces were installed, the construction team began the piping and instrumentation tie-ins. The final step involved equipment testing and piping insulation. On the 30th of November 2012, the furnaces were ready for commissioning on fuel gas, allowing Natref to resume operation while the fuel oil installation was being completed. The project was achieved with the help of skilled and qualified local contractors. Herti Petrochem South Africa would like to thank all who were involved. The new crude furnaces met the client specifications while also conforming to new government regulations for a cleaner, more environmentally friendly approach to refining. Herti continues to strive for perfection. We're constantly improving our workflows, updating our technology and pushing the boundaries in order to deliver the best possible results for our clients.